Do you want to get more bookings during the holidays? What's up everyone? My name is Jorge Contreras and I have personally built a six figure plus a month Airbnb business with and without owning real estate. And in this video, I want to give you some tips on how to maximize your bookings. But before we do, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. So let's jump right into it guys. The number one thing that you want to do is play with your titles. And this is something that actually can attract or deter people to go in a different direction. For example, if you're using a title like Rustic Modern Home, well, guess what? Maybe during the holiday, you can put Rustic Modern Home Perfect for Gatherings. Something that will attract people to get together at your property. Believe it or not, you know, Airbnb does still use a lot of this SEO, this search engine optimization. And when you are looking for, you know, certain groups, certain sizes, uh, this will help you come up in the search a little bit more than if you don't use those words. The next thing is you want to make sure that you are pricing competitively, meaning you don't want to be overpriced compared to other people or other listings that may be similar to yours. And this is very important if you haven't already done so. I would recommend doing an audit, meaning like check all the listings around your area within a 10 to 20 mile radius and check what types of amenities and experiences these other listings are offering. And if you notice that, you know what, there's in fact a lot of similarities between your listing and others and you may need to bring down your price a little bit lower just to make sure that you attract people to your booking. Now, if you notice that your property is very unique and stands out and almost nobody offers what you're able to offer, that could give you a competitive edge to be able to price your listings a little bit higher than everyone else. The next thing is you want to make sure that you are continuing to only get five star reviews with each and every guest. One of the messages that I recommend to send your guests before they check out or right after they check out is as follows. Hey Jorge, it was great having you stay at our property and I'm hoping that you experienced a five star stay. If you happen to have experienced anything less than five stars, please let me know immediately so that I can make any adjustments necessary. Just to let you know, getting anything less than five stars is almost the equivalence of getting one star in the eyes of Airbnb. So we would really appreciate a five star review. And like I said, if you had an experience that was less than five stars, please let me know before you leave the review to see if there's anything that me and my team can do about it. And what this does is, you know, sometimes when guests leave a review, they might be like, you know what, this place was amazing, except there was this tiny little thing that kind of bothered me. And that might be the difference between five star and four stars. And we all know that you need a 4.8, which is pretty much five stars, like 98% of the time, or whatever that math is, in order to become and remain as a super host. And again, if you notice that your guest had, did have an issue or maybe a complaint, hey, maybe you can give them a partial refund or you can try to make it right and prioritize getting the five star. And again, if you have to give them a 50 or $75 refund towards a cleaning because maybe, maybe the towels weren't as fresh as they were supposed to be or maybe there was a little dust behind the bed, whatever it may be, you wanna do whatever it takes to correct it and prioritize getting that five star review. If you guys are enjoying the content so far, make sure you guys smash the like button because look guys, just, just like with the review, if you don't smash the like button, YouTube is going to think this video sucked. Yeah, unfortunately. So please guys, hit the like button, okay? It makes a world of a difference. It'll be the best holiday gift for me. All right, let's continue. The next thing is quick responses. Now, I have a KPI. It's a key performance indicator and a KPI for my VA. And one of the KPIs that we use with our communications coordinator is to respond to any and all inquiries within three minutes. Now, does that happen all the time? Absolutely not. But a lot of the time, it does. It helps us to ensure that we are responding in a timely manner because believe it or not, Airbnb does look at this. And whenever you send a message to a host, it does say, oh, typically responds within one hour. It's going to say that there, every Airbnb is going to average out your response times and let the guests know. Now, if there's two properties, two listings that are equally, let's just say 4.9 on average, but this 
guest responds within five minutes, whereas this guest takes like three hours, guess what? Airbnb is going to promote this person because they know they are going to provide a better experience and better overall communication. The last thing that I want to share is Airbnb prioritizes listings who the guest actually log in frequently. It sounds pretty straightforward, right? If you don't log in frequently into your app, Airbnb is thinking like, okay, well, I guess this person is not as attentive as they should be. Whereas this other person, they log in like every hour or every couple hours or every 30 minutes. So again, logging into the app frequently, responding in a timely manner, all these things truly, truly add up. With that being said, guys, I'm wishing you guys the best during these holidays. I hope you guys create incredible lifelong experiences and memories for your guests while making a ton of cash flow for you and your family. With that being said, guys, click on the links down below and there's going to be a link down below where you guys can check out my upcoming free trainings or where you can schedule a free 15-minute consultation with my team to see if we can help you build a six-figure Airbnb empire. Also, guys, check out my podcast on iTunes and my Instagram. And before you guys go anywhere, check out one of these other videos. See you on the next one. Peace.